Hi everybody, Lori Gemini Tarot here. I'm here to give you your 1111 spiritual awakening tarot reading. Yes! Alrighty then, if you're new here, hello, my name is Lori Gemini Tarot and I do tarot readings. Now please note that this is a general collective tarot reading. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and ascending sign. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live and when I'm dropping content. Make sure you comment down below if the reading resonates with you, you like the decks, you like what is coming out of my mouth. Uh, little small things, This that kind of type of engagement helps, uh, gets me into the YouTube algorithm, so anything uh, like that that can help me out, I greatly appreciate it. And if you would like to book a personal tarot reading in the description box below, there will be a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. Now you may hear some background noise. You may see my cat roaming around, Mamo. He's a good boy, but sometimes he likes to get into a little bit mischief, so we'll see what's going on with him. Uh, but we are going into a portal right now, and this is our spiritual awakening. This is about time for us to release things that hold us back and start embracing new things, one, two, three, that enters our life. So let me go ahead and start throwing down some cards. We're gonna go ahead and take it from there. So let's go ahead and see what the messages want to come out. So I have the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. I also have the Ten of Wands reverse with the Devil card reverse, Capricorn energy with the Chariot card, Cancer energy, the Ten of Pentacles. Nice, we have two tens, so this is going to be about success. I have the Two of Cups reverse. Those are way too many cards. I have the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Okay, I will take these cards. I have the Four of Wands with the Judgment card, Scorpio energy. The bottom of the deck, the overall energy I have for the 1111 Spiritual Awakening reading, I have, it is the Queen of Wands here, which is going to be Aries Sagittarius energy. So this is you becoming very strong and very confident. This is very comfortable in your own skin. Um, you've taken the time to work on yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, uh, and you've invested time and energy on yourself. And it's really have shown. It's really, um, people are mirroring you, people wanna be you, people wanna hook up with you. You are just giving this very magnetic energy. Uh, you're very creative, very confident. You're not egotistical or anything. You're not a narcissist. You know, it's just that you just being confident. And some of you, have our light workers or spiritual healers or tarot readers um, and you've been working on yourself and using yourself as a vessel to try to heal and help others and your work is starting to reflect um, you're starting to get all the abundance and prosperity and love uh, everything that you've been manifesting so starting off, I do have the temperance card here, Sagittarius energy. And this is about learning to love yourself. This is self-respect. This is what dignity looks like. You know, like that Simpsons episode where the Van, the Van, uh, Hills, the Van House, uh, the Van House, uh, you know, Millhouse, you know, his parents get a divorce and, uh, you know, and the dad's just like, you don't see, they're playing Pictionary, like, you don't see that's dignity? You don't understand that's dignity? Well, well, you think you, so why don't you go ahead and give it a try? And then, like, the wife tries, you know, draws dignity, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, that's clearly dignity, you know? Um, you have dignity. And you're not going to put anybody on a pedestal. You're tired of doing that. You have done that with many people throughout your life, whether if it's romantic, platonic, business, friendships, 
it feels like you always put other people before you and now you're not doing that and you have set boundaries uh, you have self-control and it feels like for a while it could have been a few months or a few years uh, you were going through a really rough patch like a re like eating like a shit sandwich it feels like for some of you you've been dealing with some personal demons and this could be uh, dealing with PTSD dealing with uh, traumatic experience from your childhood. Uh, this could be a very traumatic experience that you have had in your lifetime that you're, that you had a hard time grappling. This could be uh, addictions, uh, you know, more than a habit. And remember that addictions come in many shapes or forms, whether it's codependency, people are addicted to love, murder, welfare, you're addicted to love, right? not in that good way. Uh, you could be addicted to drugs or alcohol, gambling, shopping. Uh, addictions come in many shapes and form. And you're tired of carrying this baggage and this stress, and you're letting it go. You used to have like a lot of headaches, a lot of migraines. This could be like being hung over. This could be just being addicted to pills. You know, uh, it just affected everything, like your mood. And you're just ready to release it because there's two tens here and it's about success. And remember, there's two 11s, right? And then there's two 20s. So it just feels like 2020 is the perfect time by the end of this year for you to purge and release things and you're letting this go you're not going to carry this baggage with you because you know it's gonna it's gonna kill you in the long run whether it's a heart attack or an ulcer or brain aneurysm or whatnot and you you're realizing that it's not worth it because it's about you and you realize that your body is your temple and you're not going to drown yourself in cheese whiz and cream puffs. So, with the double card reverse, this is Capricorn energy. You're releasing this toxic energy. Whether if it's a toxic relationship, whether if it's a philosophy, whether if it was just a mindset or an addiction, you're letting it go. For some of you, this is leaving a very violent, very toxic relationship. Like your partner was very abusive, very manipulative. They would gas like the hell out of you. This person would constantly lie. They were like a compulsive liar. They, were, they compulsively cheat. Uh, this person really has no dignity or self-respect. They will always be an emotional cripple and nothing that you can do could ever change their shit poor behavior. Now, with the chariot card here, this is cancer energy. You're deciding to go, go gadget and get the fuck out. You're realizing that you're cutting this energy cold turkey. This is just a, like one day you decided like, I'm just going to drop this shit. And some of you realized that you had to move, you had to relocate. Some of you had to get a new job. It feels like you had to take steps to start having a new lifestyle, a new philosophy. So this could be like if you're tired of, um, like for example, let's take diet. If you're, un if you're unhappy with, um, with your body and if it's affecting your, if it's affecting your health, it feels like you guys, uh, like for some of you, you could decide to make like a, a sudden diet change. And it doesn't feel like it's for superficial reasons. It just feels like you're, it's, it's either out of moral, moral obligations where you're like, you're deciding to not eat meat because you, you know, you don't want animals to be hurt or you decide to go vegan or cut sugar or go on a keto diet. Uh, for some of it, it just feels like it's cold turkey. Like if somebody just decides to quit smoking like that or they decide like I'm not gonna drink anymore just like that um, it just feels like there's this mental click and you're just moving forward very quickly and you're handling it very well 
there's a lot of victory here. So if you're worried about dropping something and you're afraid that you're going to relapse or go back on the wagon or you're going to continue to go back in that dark place, that is not going to be the case for you because there's another 10 here. There's victory here with the 10 of Pentacles. This is success with family, with friends, with your friends with your business relations. This is being financially stable. This is being mentally stable, spiritually stable. You have very loyal people uh, that you surround yourself with. You have a good companion or you will be attracting a good companion. As soon as you cut out something negative, this relationship, an environment, a lifestyle, and as soon as you start making a plan and just start taking action on, on it, where it's like, okay, I hate my dead-end job. I'm going to go ahead and find a new job. Uh, it, or you know, I hate the shithole of the place that I live in. I want to go ahead and move somewhere else. I hate this raggedy-ass car, 1111, <laughs> that I have. I want to go ahead and get a new car. It feels like for some of you, you're going to get a new car. You're going to adopt a new pet. Um, you're going to be moving, relocating. For some of you, it's going to be because of military or some sort of government work there's some sort of contract where you're obligated to move but it feels like as soon as you start changing your life everything positive starts happening and it feels like it's almost immediately just like that because with the chariot card this comes very quickly i said it comes quickly so as soon as you cut off like this toxic environment and you relocate you get yourself in a good place it just feels like everything reigns abundant it's raining men, right? And then you find a really good connection. You find a stable job. You find a stable partner. And you're able to grow your life with this individual. And you find a new community that you click with. And for some of you that are dealing with the Two of Cups energy, because you feel like uh, when you get out of this toxic relationship or you've been in toxic relationships, you feel like you're never going to find love again. You feel like you're going to fuck this up, that you're going to put your foot through a Van Gogh. You feel like, oh, maybe I'm broken. I'm never going to find love again. One, two, three, four. I will reassure you that this connection that you have with this individual, it is life lasting. All right, this person that you're going to meet, uh, they've been in the ringer before just like you. They've been married or they've been in a long-term relationship or they have kids and they're mostly grown or whatnot. Uh, you're going to find a very stable companion. And it feels like as soon as your divorce is finalized, as soon as the paperwork, it feels like as soon as you have at least a couple of years for you to kind of get comfortable, for you to kind of rediscover who you are because as soon as you're comfortable in your skin and you start dropping toxic shit is when everything starts raining love and abundance for you because i do have the king of swords here with the four of wands so i'm seeing a prenup i'm seeing somebody marrying somebody very wealthy that has uh they make a lot of really good money, whether if um, they're like an architect, whether if they work, work for a law firm, whether if they work for a political, bless you, whether if they work for a political, uh, they work for a political agency or work for a politician. This person is very professional, very by the book. This person is going to come across like they're not interested, but they are. And it's because they're not the type of person um, you're used to date. You, previously, you would date people that would just like love bomb you. And then that's when the train would wreck continue to, you know, would happen. This is going to be much different. This person is going to court you just right. right. This person's going to take their time. This person does not throw around, you know, I love you unless that they mean it. So this person's not going to blow you up and uh, give you with, you know, give, uh, feed you fake lines. Uh, they're going to tell you, they're going to say what they mean. Uh, I do see this relationship going, you know, being very successful. I do see this business partnership being very successful. Uh, it does, uh, I am seeing some sort of collaboration, some sort of record deal, somebody getting a new agent, like a talent agent. I am seeing somebody signing like a non-disclosure. 
it feels like there's some sort of contract endorsement deal, a collaboration that's happening for some. Because the judgment card, this is a spiritual awakening. So during, during Scorpio season, towards the end of Scorpio season, there's going to be big changes that's going to be happening here. Now, for like a very, very small audience, you could get back together with your ex. That's going to be for a very small audience. But for everybody else, this is a brand new person that you're going to be encountering. And it's going to be when you feel like you're on top of your game. Okay. So let me go ahead and throw down some more cards. I've got a bunch of Oracle cards. So let's go ahead and throw out some of these bad boys. I'm going to throw down some sweary spirituality cards. Too many cards. Okay, and let's throw down this. There's too many cards. Okay. Sounds about right. Okay. So you cannot eat a pizza through a screen door, neither can you open to truly receiving if you are trying to filter what you're receiving. Hashtag open the door. Hashtag just don't lick the pizza. Followed by do not feed the narcissist. Remember when you were flop remember when you were fearless, you're still that person. Receiving is an open and passive energy. Lean back, not forward, manifest, then rest. Now we've got shame and guilt keeps you curled up in the fetal position in your life. In this position, you cannot walk or hug or feel worthy. Please stand up. You are loved. Guilt and shame resisting love. Some chaos is fundamental to creation. The road to success is rarely tidy and straight. This is self-judgment. Resisting failure. And are you busy? So busy? Are you too busy? Does your busyness make you feel more needed? Or does it distract you from feeling things that you probably need to feel? Self-pity, resisting truth. Now let me go ahead and throw down just a few more cards. I'm going to go ahead and use a oracle deck as well as a body positive affirmation deck and then we're going to go ahead and call it a day okay perfect Here are your messages. I've got self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. Wait, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. And divine magic, extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Got I will nourish to fucking flourish. I am fucking in love with taking care of my body. Yes, you can get through the day because you're a motherfucking unicorn. And finally, I am strong, I am grounded, and I am fucking powerful. Alrighty then, so that was your reading. If it resonated, please make sure you comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and uh, please be safe, wash your damn hands, and <coughs>